Hello, my name is Dorothea Rosen. I'm a goldsmith in Halifax, Nova Scotia, and today I'm going to talk about unheated sapphires. So, uh, sapphires, I'm wearing blue because sapphires, but as you might know, sapphires come in many more colors other than blue. If you've read on my um, uh, website or uh, whatever, oh, hey, Tay. Thanks for joining. Nice to see you. So I wanted to tell you about unheated sapphires because they're quite unusual. The treatment of gemstones is there are very acceptable uh, treatments and there are some not so acceptable ones. Treating gemstones with heat is absolutely acceptable. There is no problem with it. It is stable. It doesn't compromise the integrity of the gem. There is zero problem with heating sapphires and in fact almost any sapphire you've ever seen anywhere will be heated heat treated and what that means is they get put in a kiln or either a very rudimentary and people have been doing this for ages or in a very like sophisticated uh, one so what's interesting about unheated uh, sapphires is um, that they're not so very common I'm going to show you some of the sapphires to kind of explain this a little better. But the basic gist of it is that um, the heat can intensify colors or if the uh, sapphire is particularly dark in nature, it can just mellow that uh, really, really darkness uh, dark out. So very acceptable, done all the time. So why then work with unheated sapphires? In order to discuss that, we first need to talk about what does the heat treatment do other than the, the enhancing the color. The other thing that happens is uh, gemstones have, uh, sapphires have um, zoning in them. And just from the, the way they grow, they grow over time, just similar to a tree. And uh, heating will... Um, you know, mellow that, it will, if, if there are inclusions called uh, feathers, it will dissolve the feathers. And this is how a gemologist, by the way, can tell whether a sapphire has been heated or not, because they can look at, it, it just uh, creates a little like melty area. So this is all very technical, but what I wanted to tell you is that uh, the reason I sometimes like working with unheated sapphires is because they are as nature brought them forth. So when a sapphire is found in nature, usually there's a bit of an issue that can easily be, um, uh, they could be enhanced, like mother nature can be enhanced with heat treatment, so most of them are heat treated. But every now and then one is found where, um, you know, it's, it's good quality and it does not need the heating. Now it's very rare to find them in intense colors and if you ever see an unheated sapphire in this really blue blue that would be like an investment sapphires they're very expensive i like working with the ones that are a little paler in color and i'm gonna show you some because um, i again i like that idea of having a gem that's as nature intended and without any enhancement although it's fine to have the enhancement, but you know, it's nice to have it as, as intended. And also sometimes, um, I know sapphire is a birthstone, but sometimes people are after their birthstone, which would be a softer stone. And in that case, I oftentimes recommend going to a paler, unheated sapphire, because it will give you that same color, um, but the stone is much stronger. So it's better, especially for rings and I make a lot of rings. So that's another reason I like using the unheated sapphires is for people, I much rather have somebody match uh, or pick a stone color based on the color of the eyes of the person who's gonna be wearing this ring or their skin tone or their hair color or their favorite color. So those are all reasons to work with the uh, unheated. I'm gonna see if I can make this work to show you. Um, some of these, uh, let's see, one second, I'm gonna have to turn you around and zoom in. Yeah, 
There we go. So here we have some sapphires. This is my tray of sapphires that I have. I also have, um, of course, um, uh, my gem merchant, Pierre Dejal, who uh, can get me different sapphires. So I'm going to just experimenting here. So this is kind of a typical, typical sapphire color. Better. Here you go. That is definitely heated. Um, this one here. By the way, this is also a sapphire, just so you know. I just recently set one of these. Um, they look very pretty, the pink sapphires. So this is a, has that intensity of the color. I had too much tea this morning, so I'm not going to try to pick this up right now. Um, and then these guys are also unheated. Uh, this is a beautiful uh, collection of sapphires that I bought early on when, she, when they still had them available at Pierre Deschamps. They're no longer there, I don't think. This guy's upside down, but yeah, I have the shakes right now from too much, uh, too much tea this morning. But you see these beautiful kind of pastel tones. I really appreciate those. I, I like those a lot. And um, then uh, even with the Australian, let's see. These ones down here would be the Australian sapphires that often have this little bit of an earthy hue to them. You can see they have a bit of a, I mean, all sapphires are um, polychroic, meaning they have show more than one color, in fact, two. Um, and uh, the Australian ones often have this very much like a green tone in them, which, uh, which uh, again, I really like it. I just like things being a little different. Now this is an unheated sapphire. So you can see it's a little bit more pale. I'm not going to try to pick it up. Oh, am I? No, I'm also wearing the wrong glasses. So it's a little bit paler in color, but gosh, it's so pretty. And to see that, to know that this is how it came out of the ground, I'm just like, I love that kind of thing. Yeah, I really like this one a lot. And they come, so this one is more almost like an aqua color. They also come in these, um, whoop. I really need an assistant here when I do these. Anybody want to volunteer? You want to come and play with gems with me on Sundays? This is also an unheated sapphire. You see that hues are just so much more interesting. There's a lot happening there. Yeah. And then here I pulled this one out because I wanted to show you this kind of color zoning that not each gem, each gem is not, I'm really, I'm wearing the wrong glasses. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Uh, not very professional, I'm sorry. I can't actually see this gem with these glasses. Uh, I mentioned this the last couple of times that my glasses are broken. But you can see the, definitely see the color zoning in this gem. And again, I, I the reason I buy gems like this is because I find it intensely interesting. Isn't that unique and different? And I'm more interested in the kind of unique and different than um, having it be uh, just so. So those are some uh, unheated sapphires that I wanted to tell you about. And if you have any questions, please leave me uh, those in the comments below. I'd love to answer them. There's a lot to say about uh, corundum, which is the mineral that makes sapphires, that sapphires made out of. Uh, and just in case you haven't seen my other lives, um, Ruby is also corundum, but that's for another day. Have a good day. Thanks for stopping by. Cheers.